Okay! Oh hey guys, in case you haven't already realized, it's summertime, which for kids and teachers is a great peaceful time, but for normal adults, it's like every other part of the year except 10 times hotter. Well, whether you're a kid off for summer break, or much more likely a fully grown adult with a life, summer is still a great time to play video games. I have made a list of video games that can keep absolutely anybody entertained for a whole three months, and some of them are placeholders for a type of game from a specific series or genre. And I did that so anybody can make the list their own. So, let's get into it. WHAT KIND OF PLACE IS THIS?! Now this is a specific game, but one that is both incredibly fun to play at most times, and can also fit really well into the summer themes. Wave Race Blue Storm is an old game that you can't play online, but you can play co-op with friends which is great because it has fun modes that can be challenging sometimes, making for an absolutely great game to play in the summer. The only downside is there's only 8 tracks, and they're all great, but one of them is a short loop, so there's really only 7 good ones. Still though, it's a really fun game to play during the summer. You cheated! You die! Wii Sports is one of the most fun casual games to exist, and is one of those games that is just always fun to play. And I guess Switch Sports is okay. I'm just kind of throwing Switch Sports a bone on this one because most people would prefer the original Wii Sports because it has a great selection of sports and is one of the most fun multiplayer games to play with friends. I include Switch Sports because it's also fun to play with friends and you can play it online and it has more sports too. Obviously more people will pick Wii Sports but online play with more sports and more precise control is a decent trade-off for the lack of personality and extra modes. Either way, you can have fun for a whole summer. It's a me. Um, <laughs> Super Mario Sunshine and all other 3D Mario games, excluding 3D World and 3D Land, are absolutely amazing games to play for the summer. When you're playing one of the more open 3D Mario games, you can have ultimate and endless fun, whether you're playing through all the worlds and levels, or just messing around in them. Even in the less open Mario Galaxy games, you can have so much fun playing through all the levels and replaying through all of them. And that replayability is a huge factor for why 3D Mario games are amazing games to play for a 3 month period. Now the reason why I led with Mario Sunshine is purely because of the tropical and summer theme, and honestly, play it for that. The theme works in every area of the game and adds to the experience, but just picking any 3D Mario game to play during the summer will keep you entertained at all times. Now for this spot, I'm getting even more broad. Pick any major open world game out there to play during a summer and you will be constantly occupied by the massive amounts of content. Maybe you're like me and you're into Tears of the Kingdom or Elden Ring. Maybe you're into one of Rockstar's many open world games. Maybe you're into the open world Assassin's Creed games. I don't know why you would be, but you do you because you can play an open world game all the time every day throughout the summer and still not see every piece of content the game has to offer. Maybe you see most of it, maybe half, maybe you only scratch the surface of how much there is in the game, and it will most certainly keep you occupied for the whole summer because that's how big open world games are, and that's why they're great to play in the summer. Hi Squidward, wanna play? Super Smash Bros? No! Now this is a specific game, but it's also a game that pretty much everybody likes or can at least enjoy. Smash games are great games that anybody can play and enjoy, even if it's mostly major Nintendo fans that are enjoying it. Super Smash Bros Ultimate is the most content packed Smash game with tons of stages and fighters, with plenty of great single player modes, with one of the best classic modes in the entire series. It's also an amazing game to play with lots of friends with 8 player multiplayer, and you can play the game online, and there's so many spirits to get making it a collectathon if you want lots to do during the summer. Overall, Smash Ultimate is just a great game to play in the summer, plain and simple. <laughs> Minecraft, or as I lazily call it, 
the block game, has a lot to offer, and it's a game anybody can enjoy because anybody can make it their own. Maybe you're a creative person that just wants to build and create things, or maybe you like the sense of progression survival has, or maybe you really want a challenge so you like hardcore. Maybe you don't know what to do when you play, so you just mess around and creative. Any way you play Minecraft, you can always find a way to have fun, and because of that, this is a great game to play during the summer whenever you get bored. It's also a great game to meticulously play over the course of several years. Minecraft is a good game to play in the summer because of all these things. The end, on to the next one. Now, if there's one thing I've never said, it's that you can't go wrong with online shooters. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of online shooters because I'm more into single player games. However, I must admit, they are quite fun. There's not really an end to them unless you count their end being whenever the next one comes out, but they can be endlessly fun. Now, maybe you'd get bored of playing the same matches and just doing the same thing over and over, yet for some reason that just doesn't apply to online shooters. When I play Splatoon 3, I can play over and over on the same maps with the same modes, and that's just the effect online shooters have. Maybe it's because it's mindless fun, or maybe it's really fun just trying to get better and better than everybody else. But either way, it's fun. Online shooters are just a great choice of game to play whenever you get bored and don't know what to do, which is why they're great games to play in the summer. New from holy sh**, it's we are resorting to violence. Now, I'm sure you were all confused why Wii Sports Resort wasn't included earlier with the other Wii Sports and Switch Sports games, but that's because it deserves better. Wii Sports Resort has so much to offer, and it fits perfectly with the summer theme. There are 12 sports with fun extra modes for pretty much each of them, and it's amazing to play with friends, and it has more precise controls than Wii Sports, and it has golf and bowling, the two best sports from the original Wii Sports. You cannot go wrong with this game. It's an amazing game to just pop in and play without thinking, and it's one of the best games to play with friends. It has a great selection of sports with good variety. There's plenty of content to keep you from getting bored, and the whole atmosphere this game has is just surreal. This is definitely one of the best games to play during the summer. DJ Flux is in the building. Hit announce that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is in the building. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the most packed Smash game and was properly put on this list. However, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is the most content-packed Mario Kart, is just a perfect game to play in the summer. It's simple and fun, and with the booster course pass, there are 96 tracks and 48 or something characters, meaning you will probably never get bored. It's an amazing game to play by yourself or with friends. Playing through all the Grand Prix to get gold in all of them is fun and leaves a lot that you can do. The battle mode is also super fun to play with friends, and playing online on top of all of that is fantastic. Playing this game during the summer just fits perfectly, and playing with other people makes the experience even better. It's just one of those games you can play over and over, and is probably the best multiplayer game to play in the summer, making it a perfect fit. This is just an obvious pick. There's always something you can do each day, and you can play it for just a little bit to do simple day-to-day -day things, or you can play a lot each day to work on making your island the perfect town. I know having a tropical summer theme isn't really a reason to pick a game to play in the summer, but New Horizons legitimately has more to offer than other Animal Crossing games. There's so much you can do to decorate your town and change the terrain to your liking, there's seasonal things like finding different types of fish and bugs between months. There's tons of updates that have added so much to this game, and seriously, you can play this every day. There's always something you can do. It's just the ultimate perfect summer game that you can't go wrong with. I mean, you can help out your neighbors, you can visit other islands, and there's many times where you get to go to a special island because of some update or event that's going on with the game. You can find ways to get rich so you can do more to your town. You can help lathers with filling up the museum. You can do simple things like go fishing or catching bugs or chopping trees. And you can go crazy with all the different outfits and decorations. This is the best game to play during the summer. Minus the game you're playing in the summer. Because the real best summer game is the one that you're enjoying during these three months. But... This was my attempt at creating a great universal list for anybody playing lots of games in the summer. Well, now that I've finished that list, I can finally enjoy my summer while it lasts before I'm evicted.
and before Echoes of Wisdom comes out and wrecks everything else in my life. 